as first street uh, parallels the track. Um, we're going to come up on Palomares and probably take this parking lot, a spot in here, and set up right along this curb or switch to the other side of the track and uh, set up there. Um, and I guess if we really wanted to, we could walk uh, along First Street to San Antonio and do the same thing there. There's some good area over here. And there's also kind of a sidewalk here. Um, so we could set up there as well. So we just parked, um, we're in Pomona, California. We are just west, well not just west, but we are west of the famous um, Union Pacific Colton Yard. Um, the main lines are just next to us and we're just walking, kind of scoping out where we could set up, uh, making sure that everything's safe, first and foremost, making sure there's no transients, and um, just making sure that we're gonna be safe and everybody else around us is gonna be safe. Um, bug bug. And there's a yellow bug. It has one, it's winking at us. It's winking. All right, so where are we going? No, they won't believe us. Um, trying to get, yeah, obviously there's a fence right here, so we're trying to get somewhere where we can get a clear access, clear view of the tracks. Uh, there are three tracks here. I think they split down into four, uh, about two blocks from in the direction we're walking. So, uh, thank you. Guys. So that's kind of we're, we're we're walking east on First Street. Uh, this might be East First Street. So. I don't know. Maybe know where it changes. All right. Um, well. Yeah. That's it for now, I guess. See you soon. So we're in Pomona again. Um, we've uh, actually just arrived. And um, there's a coupler right there. Knuckle. We just arrived. Um, and we were greeted by one train. And evidently there's going to be another train that I can't see. So, we'll see what happens. I don't think it depends on the length of the block. No, I don't know. Anyway, so, just had a false alarm. No worries. So actually we're heading up to the Metrolink station. Yep. In Pomona. Um, That was the sound of four hundred dollars hitting a Not an email. parking sign. Not in the form of an email. Um. So I, I'll, I'll mention it's day two. Um. As you may have noticed by the change in attire. Um. So yeah, we're just gonna go post up at the station for a little bit. It's about five thirty, so we have probably. A good two hours of daylight. I would say two. A good two hours. I think we have maybe an hour and a half of solid daylight left. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens at the station. Yeah. Evidently, we don't know how to operate our equipment. The tech guy. <laughs> I don't know anything about cameras. No, I'm just kidding. I uh, just want to see how far I can get without being in frame. So we got camera the bottom of that sign. Um, it's gonna get like a wide shot. We got a regular camera over there. It's gonna get like a higher frame shot. I'm gonna try and go down in the shade over there to try and get the train in whatever train in uh, kind of not in that shaded area from the uh, overpass walkway. So yeah. I might do that, I might do one there and then walk down that way. And then go the angle over there as well. So we'll kinda see what looks good if we get enough trains to figure that out. So 
in the meantime, we're 